you, Provost Quinn. Wow, convocation. I want you all to pause for a minute. Just sit and think about where you are. Remember all the times in your life when you thought that you weren't the person who you wanted to be. All of the times that you knew who you were but were too afraid to be that person. Now forget about all of those fears. Come back to the present moment. Each and every one of you has an opportunity you won't likely get again. I was sitting in your seats just a year ago, and so I know just how important this advice will be to you. Champlain College will give you the chance, especially in this first year, to explore who you are. But listen up. I know you hear lots of people speak today, and you're excited to start college, so your mind is on other things. But I truly believe this to be crucial advice. Something I've always told myself is that I want to be an architect for a better age. I don't care about doing well, whether that be financially or in terms of promotions. I care about doing good. Champlain is such a fantastic place for that. Here, you're encouraged to be a global citizen and to be someone who is constantly craving for more questions to answer. I just finished my first year at Champlain and I'm already up here. I've already traveled across the world on a Champlain service trip to Nepal, the poorest country in the world, where I met amazing people who were so full of hope and love. And I began to question what really matters, and I know now that this matters, what you do with your time here. Because believe it or not, no month or week or day or even minute is just a chunk of time. It's an opportunity to really do something and to do something good, something great. So here's some more advice for you to absorb. Question everything. Be willing to delve deeper, to listen, to understand, and not just to respond. Be fiercely kind to others. Put prejudice and ego aside, and you will discover that doors open up for you. Seize those moments. Champlain will prepare you well, but ultimately, it will be up to you to make your experience what you want it to be. At Champlain, surrounded by the lake, the mountains, and millions of delicious restaurants, it's easy to lose yourself in your newfound independence. Instead, I challenge you to take that independence and to take your passion and do something with it. Kill apathy, challenge injustice, take on matters that matter to you, and be your most genuine self because that's the only person worth being. Champlain is a very special place. There's an energy here that is unexplainable. Be a part of that because time flies and that sucks. <laughs> so don't take your time here for granted. We are a part of a very privileged group of people we have the opportunity to go to college and a very expensive institution at that. That's all the more reason to enjoy all that Champlain has to offer. And that doesn't just mean the unlimited access to ice cream that you have in the dining hall. So don't let pride inhibit you. Free yourself of feeling obligated to do what your friends do. But don't spread yourself too thin. As someone who is constantly busy, I can say that focusing on a few things that you really love and can do well is usually the best way to go. So before you, you lose yourself and all that's around you now, be, be willing to work to find yourself during your time here. So I've given you a lot of advice in a short amount of time, and I'm sure the others today will do the same. Do with it what you want. But if nothing else, keep it in the back of your mind. Here we are, living life live, and it's important to live it to the absolute fullest that we can. Adeyamis, class of 18, 2018. Let us dare to be different, to take the world by storm, and to start right here, right now.